and we got signal. So that's pretty sweet, huh? Hi right, guys and welcome back to my channel. So recently I saw these on Banggood. These are called the RX 5803. They're from Skyzone. It's basically an FPV receiver and um, it's pretty sweet. It's just a full-fledged receiver. So I had an idea. I picked up three of these that do build and actually a drone finder. So if the battery is still plugged into your drone, uh, you could still find it through a patch antenna and this module as well as with an Arduino. So so the whole concept is pretty sweet actually. So it's basically going to be a small box that you hold with a LCD, couple buttons possibly, a buzzer, and a patch antenna. And we'll set up a voltage regulator so we could put 3S, 2S, whatever kind of battery you want to put into it to actually find your quad. Now, this, you know, some Fat Shark modules do already have this, but not everyone's fortunate to have a Fat Shark. And sometimes it's a pain to actually do. I usually do it with my Fat Shark, but you know, I see it to have just a standalone device to do this is going to be pretty sweet. And the whole idea is to keep it under fifty dollars, and I think it's very possible. So I just got a prototype working right now. So I just quickly want to show you what I have done here and how it will work. All right. So before we begin, this one does not have basically any documentation online but I did find the uh, da data sheet but not a super comprehensive data sheet which basically told me on the RSSI uh, half 500 millivolts which is half a volt is zero signal and 1.1 to 1.2 volts is a full signal on RSSI and um, I got my oscilloscope to measure and test it and it was pretty accurate so that's sweet so that's how we're working right now so let me actually quickly show you how it works so first as you can see here, I have my antenna already soldered on, and we have 5 volt ground and RSSI connected, and it's routed to the oscilloscope and the Arduino, and this will give us kind of like a, a meter here. So this is just a prototype, it's just a proof of concept for myself, see if I get it to work. And it actually worked, and I basically I just received these modules like 5 hours ago on DHL, I got 3 of them just in case so I burn a couple. So they're going to be pretty sweet. Later on, we'll add some OSD on this. It'll tell you the frequency, and it'll, it'll just be pretty sweet. So let me just quickly show you how it works here. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to power up the Arduino. All right. All right, so the Arduino is powered up. And the oscilloscope and the Arduino are listening on the RSSI here of this guy. And... Let's give this guy power now. So I'm gonna give him power through my power supply, my power bench. All right, and as you can see here, let me quickly show you. So right now we we're reading zero volts. Uh, this is no signal here. And let me just quickly show you there. And on the oscilloscope, it's right there, half a volt. So this is basically no signal. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power up a TXO three uh, camera which is basically a transmitter and as you can see we just got full signal 1.2 and if we take a look at the screen here it's this is just a rough prototype so don't think that this is how it's going to be the end result but I'm just testing and it's just it's awesome so it's perfect however another thing that's pretty sweet about this one it kind of makes your life easier because you can switch to bands and frequencies from here and it'll tell you this one is the channel and this one is the frequency. And let's just say you're on A1, so there's a L red LED will blink once and a blue LED will blink once. So if you're on B1, you would click this and the red LED will blink twice, so that's B, and then this will blink once. That's how you know what band you're on. So this saves a lot of time and effort and it's going to be pretty simple to do it with this one. So it's going to be pretty sweet here. So what I'm going to do now actually is I will be turning this off so right now it's broadcasting at 25 milliwatts here all right so as you can see 25 this is 200 this is whatever 600 i think oh we, we took too long now we're on zero as you can see there is no more reading here and over here it dropped to 500 so let's just turn it back on now all 
and we got signal so that's pretty sweet huh I think it's going to be pretty damn awesome here. Uh, this will really help you find your quad. I've had to find my quad in the bushes with this guy. And uh, well, I'll offer my fat shark. But um, this one is going to be like a little tiny standalone device. And it's pulling roughly 500 milliamps right now on my power bench as I can see here. So let me quickly show you that. It's up there. It's pulling. It's at 5 volts, 0.47 milliamps. So half a milli So that's, that's very good. 500 milliamps is basically nothing. So... It's pretty sweet. It's going to be very fun. If you guys are interested, I'll keep continuing making videos on this until we get it set up. And um, everything here is going to be way below $50, so that's that's just awesome. The OLED here is like around, I don't know, $5 or even less. The Arduino is like 2 bucks, and the this one is around $11, the receiver here. So they're pretty sweet. And yeah, well, that's the plan and if you guys are interested I'll keep going with the videos on this and um, if you guys really want to see the final result I'll try to get this done as soon as possible so far I've been working on it for like seven hours and it seems absolutely beautiful and promising so here I'm just gonna show you something so let's, let me just show you the sorry now I see this one blink one blink I'm gonna switch it to b2 b1 I mean see now it's b1 and the signal dropped and if we do this again this will blink three times, so that's A, B, C, so that's C1, D, E, F. This is a 48 channel receiver here. And what we can do is we can also set up a mod to, it'll have a AV out basically, and you can connect the monitor and even just see where your device is. Really, you can see the video feed if you want, and you can even connect to DVR. So there's a lot of, lot of possibilities for this, and it'll be very interesting and very fun. And later on, we can even have the display have an OSD with the stuff we want. So it'll be pretty sweet. It's going to take a lot of some time programming, but the end result is just going to be absolutely awesome. And um, yeah, if you guys want to get started on this, let me know. Um, I will share my... Okay, that's good. I will share the code that I currently have. The code is just still in beta. It's just a prototype. It's just a proof of concept. It's nothing special yet. It's not the final result, but it's working absolutely beautiful from the beginning. So that just says a lot. And um, I'm very excited for this. And yeah, well, I just wanted to make this video, guys, just to share it with you. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys.